Ready? Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, if you can hear me okay, just say hi in the chat. Make some kind of racket. Um, because this is an interactive show today. You know, normally you can't pick a card unless you've got someone standing in front of you to pick it. So uh, let's, uh, let's see if make sure with the chat. Sherry's helping me with the chat. Say hi, Sherry. Hi. She's going to be helping me uh, facilitate some of the chats that are going on because I can't do both. I can, but it just looks funny. So uh, I am proud to present a present presented by Peter, the prestidigitator. Now, Peter's a pleasant person and a priest by profession. Apparently, Peter procured a patent on a pussycat pom-pom play pole picked from pollen's poses and perched in pairs at perpendicular points to this pole. Peter produced plenty of these poles, problem being the paying public perceived the pom-pom pole as a prank and purchased none of this practical paraphernalia. Peter was perturbed and was prepared to part with these paltry poles for pennies. Peter, I proclaimed, performing prestidigitation poses plenty of possibilities but with performance and pattern with pretty little props. Placed in a palm of the proper prestidigitator, the pom-pom pole can be a panoramic production. Peter was pleased to put me on the payroll and present me with this prototype to prepare this presentation. I am proud to present the preposterous pom-pom pole. Now, the paying public perceived the pom-pom as a prank, but the proof is in the pudding. Pulling the blue pom-pom is what makes the yellow pom-pom become the high pom-pom, and, and the blue pom-pom becomes the low pom-pom. Yellow pom-pom becomes the low pom-pom. Pulling the green pom-pom makes the yellow pom-pom become the high pom-pom, and the red pom-pom become the low pom-pom. So apparently those pom-poms are paired with a long piece and a short piece of string. Then I pondered, perhaps pulling the yellow pom-pom will make the red pom-pom the high pom-pom, and the yellow pom-pom the low pom-pom. So apparently those pom-poms are paired. Pull the green pom pom, and the yellow pom pom became the high pom pom, and the red pom pom became the low pom pom. So apparently those pom poms are paired. But that's impossible. If a long piece and a short piece of string. Then I pondered, puzzled by the possibility of perpetual pom poms, I pulled a pair of pom poms at the same pulse, and it produced parity. Perhaps you're not impressed. Perhaps parting these poles could disprove all possibilities. So if you paying patrons are pleased with this presentation, perhaps purchasing one of Peter the Prestidating Tree's preposterous pom pom pole would promote this performer's path to premature popularity. If you're pleased with my presentation, please prove so by applauding. I see, I miss that. I miss that audience interaction. I can't, I don't, I don't get the clap. Yay, the clap. So this trick, I would normally say pick a card, any card. It really doesn't matter which card I pick. So let's just pick one random. Uh, somebody say stop. That's not gonna work. Say stop. Somebody say stop. No, I'll just stop. I'll just stop. Here, stop. pick this one. Okay. She said stop. You remember? Stop. Never mind. <laughs> Man, my hands are so dry. <laughs> Don't stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, this is what I got the queen of uh, the queen of clubs. So I'm going to fold it in half. Uh, fold that in half. Now that's called a cramp in magician terms. I can find that card again if I had to. Another one here. Yeah, I don't know if it's called a crimp, but it's called a broken card. Let's do that again, nice and cleanly. Slow down and do it again, says Isaac. Well, let's see, I need a marker. Normally, I'd have him sign the card uh, beforehand. Uh, let's see, uh, this will work. I'm going to sign Blaine. This, this will be available on eBay right after the show, uh, if you're interested at all. Uh, say baby cakes. Baby cakes, why not? <laughs> We, it could say baby geeks, but it's not going to say baby geeks. So okay, let's uh, I tell you what, we're going to start off with a, a little bit of a hair. A little bit of a tear, just a little bit. So it's not two pieces. <laughs> it's more than two pieces. It's going to be several pieces. Because now I'm going to cut tear it again, I will have four pieces. Okay. Yeah, let's see. That would work. These two. Let's pick these two. These are good ones. I'll, I'll get back to you in a minute. So let's start off with these two right here. So watch very closely. I don't know. Let's do this camera. I'll do it like this. So watch very closely. I'm going to try to put it back together. I'm going to try to. Try to. Try to. Okay. Got There's half. Let me get that. Not get another piece here. Okay. So what have we got here? Hmm. Something like that, huh? Um, let's see. It goes something... Let's go like, like this one right here. And it is now attached. So let's two. This is the hard part's getting this third one here. This third one because I got two sides to do at the same time. Let me get another piece here. Okay, here we go. One more time. We'll run the side. And here. That's right there, right there, right there. And we have a signed card put back together. All right. Um, you've been to the State Fair, you know, one, one in Dallas, because that's where I'm from. It was in Dallas, you know, that big text. Hey, y'all, come on. 
Anyway, uh, there was a, there's this part of the fair where you go down and you see all the stuffed animals and you see all the, the guys winning prizes, you know, ding, 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 and they get bears and stuff like that, big teddy bears. And, and I wanted a big teddy bear like that. So I, uh, I, I tried to play. And, uh, you know, the, I was walking by one of them, and the, the guy goes, hey, buddy, psst, psst, come here, come here. He goes, I want to win some money. And, you know, of course I do. Of course I want to win money. And he goes, well, the object of my game is we've got a red card. We've got a red card. And we've got a blue card. The object being to watch the blue card. The blue card's the odd card. If you get it wrong, you, win it, uh, you, get, you lose a dollar. You get it right, you win a dollar. So he had the blue one on the top. What he did is he shifted the blue one to the bottom. I said, he goes, where's the blue one? I said, it's on the bottom. He goes, you owe me a dollar. I said, if it's not the bottom one, it, uh, it's got to be the top one. He goes, you owe me two dollars. I said, it's not the top and not the bottom one. It's got to be in the middle one. He goes, you owe me three dollars. And I said, I don't think you have a blue one at all. He goes, you owe me four dollars. I said, the blue one's the bottom one. It can't be the top one. He goes, you owe me five dollars. I said, the blue one's the top and the bottom. It can't be the middle one. He goes, you owe me six dollars. I said, I think you have more than three cards there, sir. He goes, one, two, three. You owe me seven dollars. I said, wait a minute. I quit. He goes, tell you what I'm going to do. They always say that. Tell you what I'm going to do. We've got, why am I buzzing? i got a red one and a blue one. If you can guess what I got in my hand, we'll go double or nothing for that $7. I said, knowing my luck, it's probably red and blue. He goes, no, you owe me $14. Let's see. Can I see the chat? You can I see the chat? No, not that, one. that chat. The chat. Can I see it? See what you got. What do we got going on here? You guys want to try to do a pick a card kind of thing? No, somebody just shout out a name out there. I'm, I'm watching the chat. I want to see somebody just shout out a name. Any old name will work. Just say it out loud. A name. Te, what's that? Tada? Oh, GD, <laughs> at least you're participating. We, let's do Tada. You've already started with that. We'll, we'll do with what we got. I have a piece of paper in here. And I want to take my marker and I'm going to, uh, I'm going to write. Uh, where do you go? I'm going to write. Ta-da! There's a pen, too. There's a ballpoint somewhere around here. Where'd you go? There it is. I'll write it here. I'm going to write it on here. T. T. A. D. A. You know how they named Canada? They threw all the numbers and, or the letters into a bag and they pulled it out and said C A N A D A T A D A. Ta-da! Anyway, that's, I'm sorry, Canada was the first part. So, can you see it? It says Canada. No, <laughs> kidding. <laughs> Fold this up. <sighs> Boy, that lighter, please. Do you mind? Here's the assistant, Sarah. Uh, yep, yep. Got this <laughs> trust, trusty, my lovely assistant, Sherry, provided me with the lighter. We're going to start fire. Is that fire extinguisher handy? No, but I'm making sure that the fire alarm didn't go off. Oh, my gosh. I didn't think about that, but it could happen. I'm going to open that door. Uh, we got a fire. That's a fire. That's a fire. That's a fire. That's a fire. I'm going to give a close up on that. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. So, oh my gosh. We're going to set smoke alarms off. I'm going to uh, put it out. Oh, that's brilliant. Let's use the. Huh? No, I got, I got it. Fireball. <laughs> Woohoo. It's still burning. I'm going to use this, too, because it's burning my fingers. Okay. Nice. Nice little pile there. Anybody remember what that said? It's been a while. It's making sure you remember what it said. It makes the trick so much better. I'm going to say you do. It said ta-da. It's a watch. Watch. There's no watch. Come on, go out. I don't want to burn myself anymore. And a watch. I need more ash. Ta da! It froze up again. Yeah. That's it. Got it. Ta da! Ta da! Okay. Woo! That makes a mess and it stinks. I'll get that later. Seriously, I will, Sherry. I promise. Now we got ta da on the arm. I need to close the show with something brand new, and it's going to blow your mind. I'm at a monster. That's what I got to go. Okay, just kidding. Somebody name a color, black or red. Just black or red out there. Throw it out there, black or red. 
I'm waiting. Got somebody yet? Black, red, just say it out loud. Dun, 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 We got a red or black yet? I need black. a color. Black. We got a black. Okay. Jordan Williams. Jordan Williams. Thank you, Jordan. Hey, Jordan. So uh, now we need a, uh, of the black, we need a suit, either spades or clubs. Somebody throw me out a suit. Got a club? You a spade yet? A spade or club? Somebody say it. Whichever one. I don't want to influence you. I don't want to... You know, just don't pick the ace of spades. <laughs> That'd be bad. That's so easy. If I get the ace of spades, clubs. Club. All right. So we're out of clubs. Now the hard part. Ace through king. Somebody name a card. That one. Clubs. Okay. So club. I need a card now. So my name a card of the twelve spade. spade a card no the, I need the number ace through king jack jack so we got a jack of clubs right so From the, jack Cattrall. jack of course jack. of course of course all right so this deck is pre-printed being pre-printed that it's uh, not printed on yet so it's, you know it's, it's a blank deck so if, yeah it's actually it's, it's a blank deck blank deck blank deck so we, our card was the uh, was the was a jack of clubs. No, jack of clubs. Okay. So jack of clubs. So, but one of the things that I have on here, this might help it help us out a little bit, is that we have three cards. We have is the. That's one of the cards. Hmm. That could be your card. Is the card? Is that is that your card? Is the card? No, maybe not. Oh, there is card. Look at that. There's the word card. Card. Okay. So so now we have another set. Your. Your, uh, your card, your card, your card is the card. I don't know what that means. Let's, I tell you, oh, I know what it is. Your card is the jack of clubs. Yeah, that's better. Jack of clubs. Ta-da. Yeah, that concludes my show online. My first time ever. I feel you know, no longer a virgin. I've done my, you know, I, I've done it before. Uh, I hope we can do another one of these soon. I'm learning a lot on how to do this and um, get this stuff out there where it performs and doesn't crash. Uh, so if you like what I do, my name is Blaine Tate. If you don't, my name is David Copperfield. Bye, y'all.